Welcome back, everybody, to my Let's Play of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD in Hero Mode. When last we left off, we came here into a ruin back in time that looks vaguely like the Temple of Time from Ocarina of Time. But most importantly, it sounds like it. That music is totally recognizable, and I love it! So we're going to go in the back here because we stuck the Master Sword in here, but instead of getting turned into a child like we would in a game that came out even more years ago than this one... Also, oh my god, I have so many little hearts. Um, it opens up something in the back, and we can just go, um, explore. So let's do that. Where are we? It's likely the sixth dungeon of the game, and it is called... Take a wild guess, everybody. Take a wild guess. Take a wild guess. It is called... Oh, the drama. They're playing this up again. The Temple of Time. Look at that. Don't you just love the Temple of Time? So, my thoughts on this dungeon in a nutshell before I even complete it. I think this dungeon is ingeniously designed. It is incredibly um, creative and also streamlined, which I love. Um, what are you going to say, Midna? Baron! Don't you think there's something odd about that statue? In the grove and in the temple entry, there were always matching ones on each side, but there's only one here. Why don't you use your senses to take a look around? Okay, well, thanks for making it pretty obvious for me. This is one of the few times you'll really need the wolf form here. And if you turn your senses on, ooh, you can see... Vaguely, there used to be a statue there. I knew it! There was one more here originally. We need to find the other statue in this temple that matches that one. That's going to be the major puzzle of this temple. It's all about getting that statue back to where it belongs. That's the ingenious part of it. I, however, am not a huge fan of the dungeon, only because, there. first of all, if Twilight Princess is good at anything, it's dungeon design. There are incredible dungeons in this game. And... I sometimes find this dungeon just a bit frustrating. So it's not like the most fun dungeon to play, in my opinion, at least that's how I feel. But I think it's wonderfully designed, and I think it's like a master of like dungeon design within the Zelda series. Urgh, not so fast, at last, this is it. This is where I've been trying to get to. The ancient technology of our people sleeps in this place. And now we're so close I can smell it. Okay, bye bye, young man. We are so close, so please help us find it. So we get Uku right away in this dungeon. We don't even have to look, and suddenly there's Uku. But we're gonna go down this way first, and we're gonna get our lantern now. Because you can never get enough of lighting two torches to reveal a chest. Look at that. At least these torches look a little bit different. Also notice that a lot of the emblems, uh, like that one on the ground behind the chest on the floor below, looks like the light medallion from Ocarina of Time. Hey, our first small key in the dungeon, yes. So the main other uh, piece of the puzzle that is this entire dungeon basically is like a single big puzzle is basically a lot of like pot and switch management. And I don't mean pot like, <laughs> let me smoke. I mean pot like there's just pots on the ground, so you have to deal with them. So now let's begin our big ascent. Because we're just going to be climbing this tower. Eh, gotcha. Because if you look at the map, you'll notice, ooh, there are eight floors that we have to explore and two poses that we have to get. So most of this stuff is stuff we can ignore, but to uh, get this to actually depress, we are going to need to put this on the switch. Look at that. Oh no, it's not quite on the switch. That was stupid of me. Maybe it's too light? Let me try again. No, it worked. Okay. So we can get this tiny little chest. This little pit squeak! Arrows! We're gonna need a lot of those too. And let's kill you, you uh, larva looking thing. Don't those look familiar? And then we'll hit the pot, which unpresses the switch, and then we can go up. Ah, right, little flow. This is one of the first dungeons where, like, it is extremely helpful to um, fighting the enemies who actually use your hidden skills. Because these are not so bad, but there are going to be a lot of enemies that uh, have armor that's actually possible to break unless you actually use some hidden skills. Like these guys. You really just got to backslice them. Oop. I didn't see a guy coming out of anywhere. Ah! Oh, crap. Oh, shit. There we go. Oh, God. Let me get away. Let me get away. Because you're going to explode and they're going to hit me. Okay, so we have another switch here. Oh, something materialized. There are some, you know, old Zelda concept in here, not just lighting lanterns, but killing every enemy in the room to reveal a chest. It actually doesn't happen all that often in 3D Zeldas, but that was like the way of the world in 2D Zelda. Hey, 
So here's our map. You're gonna see when I open the map that it literally is just a big tower. It's just cool. I like stuff like that. I think big towers are awesome. Who doesn't love a good big tower? I know I love a big one. <laughs> oh, stupid bat. How dare you. There's enemies everywhere in this dungeon. They're all over the place. So, basically, this makes sense, right? Depress switches, kill some bats in the meantime, since they're just chilling. Oh, come on. It's like the spider I just killed in my room. Like, so I didn't have arrows to do it. If I had arrows, I could kill some of the little spiders on my ceiling. They're actually not on the ceiling, they're kind of in the corner. I'm just pretending to ignore them, they're really small. But I did have a showdown with a humongous spider on my apartment door the other day. It was kind of like a face-off. And you could tell it was trying to get into the door, and I just was not gonna let it get into the door. Oh my god, thank you. Cause that would have been bad. And it had like patterns on it, and it made me nervous. Cause no one likes a spider with patterns on it. I know I don't. So there's all these guys in here, and I'm not gonna deal with them just yet. Because in my test run I spent... Whoop! Hey, guy. Ugh. I keep pressing the wrong button. I keep pressing A sometimes when I want to press B. Haha! Bam. There's no point in really destroying these pots, except for the off chance that they reveal some kind of ammo. And finish! Now that I know to not finish an enemy until I'm at least... Not on top of them. Aha! I can probably do this. And wait, and wait, and wait. <laughs> That's like gonna be the only time I ever use that move, for the record. But I guess it's good for that kind of situation, where you're just kind of waiting for them to get back up. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can do down here, so we might as well climb the stairs. There's a lot of stuff you can just ignore on your way up. It'll become clear on your way down. Also, I love that there are bas-reliefs all over the walls in this dungeon. For the record, bas-relief referring to... Oh, gotta get my spinner. Uh, like, carvings in a wall that, like, barely jut out from the wall. There's a lot of those in ancient Roman whatevers. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna go around this way to avoid... Get one of these. Okay, and hopefully avoid more. We don't really have to deal with... Ooh! Not sure which way. Ah, shit! <laughs> I got hit. Damn it. We don't have to really worry about uh, using the middle console just yet. At least... We will, now, to get something else. Help with that switch situation. Um, this is the part I always mess up. This is one of the annoying parts to me, because I never remember which direction is the one I want to go in. Oh, good, that was the one I wanted. Phew! Okay, I'm not going to worry about those guys yet. We'll deal with them soon enough. Instead, I just want to get back up. Also, we're going to counter a lot of those dudes. Also, I guess I'm pushing in the wrong direction. I want to pull. <clears throat> so I guess pull it in this, let's say pull, well, it depends on the side that I'm on, too. Okay, if I'm on the left, oh, nope, don't want to pull it anymore, because we're exactly where we want to be. You know what, I'll keep that to myself. <laughs> Although it seems more intuitive on hero mode than it does in normal mode, what's that about? Okay, there we go. So, this is tricky, you want to stand on here and then place a switch, because then it goes all the way up, and otherwise you can't get up. So let's move forward. Let's move forward, shall we? Ooh, what's all this? We'll be back here later, too. But in the meantime, we can kill these Armos. I think they're Armos. I mean, just like anytime you see Armos in the series, they're basically these statues that, you, uh, that can hit you. And you fight them, and then they blow up when they're done. I wish I had some stuff. Gotcha. You kind of want to get in front of them before you roll around again, otherwise they'll roll back around in front of them. Da, da, da. There we go. Oh, no, no. Oh, that's not what I wanted you to do, Link. No! I'm going to have to use one of my potions. What do I got in my inventory? I can use this one. Because... It's really not that great an item. It's just like a red potion, but it's soupy. And let me get out my spinner again. 
Okay, so that's that. That's all we can do right here right now, except for get some chests. I love a good prize. And you love me getting some prizes. And of course, the door opens again. You put me in the wrong direction. Didn't want to look that way. Don't, if this is a hard piece, I'll cry because I just used a potion. Okay, it's just a stamp. It's the letter L. We're doing really good on stamps, folks. At this point, we don't really have to search too far and wide because we did like Hidden Grotto like Express in an earlier episode. Oh, what's in here? It is a small key, which is exactly what we need to progress because we passed that door that had a small key lock. And now we go there. Other developments in my life, um, I downloaded Snapchat, I gave in. I've been avoiding Snapchat this whole time because I just know that me on Snapchat means loss of life. And so far that has proven to be the case. I'm doing little else except for Snapchatting at the moment. I mean, obviously I'm not Snapchatting at this very moment. I'm making a video. However, um, oh, this is a fun room because we have to use the switch a lot. And this is very clever. Here, let me get you. Oh, come on. I thought I had you. In the eye! So as you can see, we can't go around there. So what are we going to do? We're going to shoot this switch. Harkens back to a um, earlier Zelda mechanic from 2D days of old. Remember in Link's Awakening specifically and uh, Link's of the Past when you had those switches, those crystal balls that would change between blue and red? This is exactly like that, which I think is cool. It's like a nice little modern 3D interpretation of that because you can use your arrows to fix the situation and to remedy it. Gotcha. Before you can even do anything, I gotcha. So, um, don't forget there's a chest here, because I totally forgot about it, and if you forget about it, then you'll be out of luck, because it's the compass! It's only open, depending on what you've, um, hit the switch with. That made no sense. What I mean is, the pattern of the switch. See, it closed behind me now. See, all closed, and you totally could have gone up there if you got stuck thanks to that claw shot target. <coughs> but we already got chest, so... Ooh, I just swallowed air. Sorry. Die, Lizard Man. <coughs> Everyone remember Lizard Man from, uh... What's it called? Soul Calibur 2? Now, this is one of those... Oh, I can just finish them, I guess. Those guys have little skull helmets, so they're kind of fun to... Helm split. Oh, that's not a good angle. Try here. There we go. I wonder what it says behind those crystals. It's like an inscription. Or something. Okay, lizard man. Let me lure you. Oops, see, here's one with a lot of armor. Which we can't really do much about. Hold on, let me finish you first, even though you're probably gonna hit me while I finish him. Okay. Oop, ha, he's good at blocking. Helm split. Fine, get over here. Leave yourself open for me, please, please. There we go. There we go. Oh, he got back up, so I couldn't finish him. See, these guys are fun. Now it actually feels like fighting is, like, difficult. And also challenging. Which I love, but it's, like, too little too late. It's like, this is the sixth dungeon of the game, come on. But at least there's a lot of dungeons to go. Because Twilight Princess is a big game. With, like... Well, officially, it's nine dungeons. And you'll see. So we're, like, basically... We're on the back half of the game at this point, just because the rate at which we go into new dungeons is so quick. Which is fine. I love that. Oh, come on, man. Why don't you just leave yourself open? Why don't you just let me kill you? Like, it'd be so much easier that way if you just let me kill you. Come on. Come on, come on. Yes! Oh, that could have probably been a good opening. Ah, That was stupid. There we go. Oh, come on. You want me to face you again? There we go. Jump split. Gotcha. Notice my commentary gets really stupid when I'm fighting enemies because I'm too focused on the enemy. Oh, too far. And hit! That was totally, totally a miss, but I'll take it. Why waste my time? They knows that I have good intentions. They knows. They knows I had good intentions. So we're up another level. This room is... It's okay. It's not a bad room, but I like it because I like to spin the crap out of these creatures. Because <laughs> they just like come towards you and then you're just spinning. Ah! 
You want to get some momentum, though, because otherwise you're going to get stuck and then it's like going to take you off the spinner. Fine. The other way to do that is just to hit them really with anything. I usually prefer uh, arrows, just because I have so many of them at this point, and they also spawn them, and it's quick. So. Bam! I feel really cool in this room. I'm having so much trouble spinning attacking today. Why is that? There we go. Got him. Got him. Got him. Thank you. Oh, I get a chest. What's in the chest? See, it pays to kill every enemy in this dungeon for exactly that reason. There's really not that many chests in this dungeon, honestly. Thank you. What are you? 50 rupees? Okay, I'll take it. It's a little lame, but whatever. Now, there is a another room that you can get to here, but I'm going to do it later because I find that you have to come back there later anyway. And right now, it seems kind of pointless. So, here's a major puzzle. We have these scales that we have to deal with. So, to do that, we have to change the weight of everything. Ooh. Ooh, okay. That was actually easy so far. Crap. Did you? Try this. I guess two of these equals one link. <laughs> two weird looking pots. Oh my god. Why are you being so difficult? There we go. Ta da! Two links equals one pot. And we will be back here later. Don't you worry. I'm aware that I'm skipping things. I'm aware. But we're coming back. I just don't feel like doing it twice. Because the enemies will respawn in the room that I can go to there that I'm not going to right now. So, these stupid things. I don't like them, I don't like them, I don't like them. And we kind of have to go around this way and avoid. Good. Die, you lizard fools! The one thing that I also don't like about this dungeon is because it, it... I mean, the look of it, I think, looks like vaguely Temple of Time-esque from Ocarina of Time. But the stuff inside it doesn't really line up with my idea of what makes, you know, like, Byzantine chanting Temple of Time stuff. Woo! There's like so many traps in it and stuff. Like, why is that in the Temple of Time? Why is the Temple of Time booby trapped? Why is like the tower at the back of the Temple of Time booby trapped? I don't know. Don't get get me started. So much suspension of disbelief. Don't worry. Oh, that's right. I have to take one of these. Thankfully, this guy won't, you know, get destroyed if I get hit by that trap. And then there's no more electricity. And we continue on our merry way. What floor are we on? We are on... F oh, we're getting towards floor 8 now. More guys. And... Waha! Oh, I missed them all. Damn it. Where are you? There you are. Haha! -ha. Oh, the spinner is also really good for breaking pots. I didn't realize that because I never tried it. Well, they're too far apart now, so I'm just going to hit them with my arrows. Bam! 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 Gotcha! Ooh! There is that chest that I was referring to. Did I even refer to a chest? Who cares? It's there! And, uh, why don't we kill these guys in the meantime? Whoop! Yeah, you left your weak spot open for me! You fool! Wahaha! <laughs> oh no no! See, that's not- Oh my goodness, I'm having so much trouble with my joystick today. Why is that? Did I, like, calibrate it wrong or something? I guess that's possible. No, it seems to be doing okay. What the frick? What the hell? Oh, come over here. Oop! Yeah, it's just like... Whatever. Let me just maybe not go to the left to do my backslice. Ah! Damn it. Well, I have a fairy just in case. Okay, whew! Okay, do your little, like, freak out. Let me get whatever's in this chest. Maybe there'll be a fairy up there and I'll get lucky. Come on. Open for me. Because I know everyone's going to be so annoyed by the beeping. I don't mean for it to beep, I'm just making stupid mistakes. In my effort to be efficient. Wah. Is there anything in here that's worth my time? No? No? No. Okay, well, in that case, I guess we'll, uh... I don't want to use that. I don't want to use that. You know what? 
we're gonna let it be. Anyway, that's all for this episode. That was The Ascent, and in the next episode, I'm gonna go through this locked door, and we'll continue our descent. Notice that interesting little symbol right there? Curious, isn't it? Anyway, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.